Our first conversation are very, very uh, exceptional because the individual we're talking to is a life coach. Yes, so a life coach we would have this discussion with. Her name is Namodupe Akinsi, a life coach. And uh, we would like to know some other things. Why do we even need a life coach uh, and what it takes to be one in the first place? Uh, welcome to the Good Morning Ninja Show, man. How are you doing today? I, 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 I can't, I think I can't, I lost your audio, but I believe you can hear me, uh, but I think I lost your I audio. Can. Okay, can you hear? You can hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, yes, beautiful, I can hear you now. I can you hear now. you clearly. I can hear you now. All right, awesome. all right, welcome okay. to the show. How are you feeling today? Thank you so much. I'm well, thank you, and you? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tradition awesome. to always ask my guests uh, how they are doing honestly, because we know that there's a pandemic and a lot of things have changed. A lot of people are, you know, in different mm -hmm. phases mentally. So we'd like to know honestly, how are you right. honestly? Really, really, I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm observing my rest season at this time, mm. so um, I'm... I'm very calm. I'm relaxed. Um, I woke up on the good side of the bed this morning, so like you can that. say I'm good. Thank <laughs> you for asking. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I woke up on the good side of the bed. Right. Okay. So mm -hmm. <laughs> let, let us let us go straight into today's conversation. Uh, we're talking about sure. uh, being a life coach and why everyone needs a life coach. So let's even start by um, explaining what a life coach is. So for people who are just watching and are just hearing this for the first time, who is a life coach? Or, yeah, if you can explain that. I mean, uh, that's a very valid question you've asked. And, and the reason is because, um, you know, for us in Nigeria, you know, um, we have quite a number of coaches out there. And a lot of people are beginning to, you know, expose themselves to the importance mm -hmm of having a life coach but we just need to know what a coach is so that our expectations are properly set exactly. and managed you know when we engage with those kind of relationships so a, a coach is pretty much i would like to use um you know the picture of a coach okay a coach in itself is a means of transportation is a carriage you okay. know if you look at the uh, british empire back in the day mm -hmm. of course and other um advanced you know countries where horses and carriages were yes. like things they used as a means of transportation you would see that where the passenger sits is often referred to as a coach on a train you have coaches mm -hmm. you know so pretty much a coach is someone who helps you move from one point to the other right someone mm -hmm. who pretty much carries you by unlocking your potential so you're headed in a particular direction you want to get to a desired destination, but somehow by yourself, you're not able to get there, whether as a result of limiting beliefs, as a result of fears, and any other limitations that you may have had. So a coach is that person who brings out the best in you, helps you unlock your potentials, in order to help you achieve your objectives. So that's how best I would describe it for now. Interesting. I like the fact that uh, you had to break that down so that people can understand the responsibilities of the life coach because um, if, if, if we move mm -hmm. forward into the conversation people would say okay i don't know what i'm doing i need a life coach to show me where to go <laughs> you understand sure. that has been some kind of conversations <laughs> like i don't know where i'm going i Absolutely. have no clue of what my future holds for me <laughs> let me just look for a life coach Absolutely. who can show me what to do and teach me where to go now in, in a case like that, mm -hmm. do you think what that person needs is a life coach or the person needs to find out where they want to go before they find a life coach to assist them? What would you say to someone who is in that kind right. of situation? So there are different, you know, the same way we say people are on different spectrum, you know, mm -hmm. where um, a challenge is concerned, right? I, yeah. I would say that people are different degrees of clarity, okay? Now, it doesn't matter where you're at, you know, a coach can actually help you unlock that potential, right? Okay. I've seen situations where people don't even have a clue that they have certain potentials inside them. And it takes somebody who can see, you know, beyond what you see to help you, you know, open your eyes to those opportunities or to those talents or to those gifts that are inside you in order to maximize them, okay. right? So there are times that we actually have people, I mean, I've, I've interacted with people who said to me, Dupe, you know what? Go ahead. If, 
if you tell me to oh, I think to I'm, have a I'm vision, a I can't even situation. think of something, right? Okay. Um, I think my the network is is acting funny, so I can't. I'm losing your audio. Right. I'm losing your video. Can but you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Go ahead. Awesome. Yes. So I was trying to say that we, we've had instances where people say things like, you know what, Dupe, I can't even envision the future. I can't see the next step for me right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And that is where an independent person, you know, like a life coach will be very helpful. Okay. So it doesn't matter that you cannot see a, few, a vision. You cannot, you know, you don't have an idea of where you're even headed. Mm -hmm. A life coach can help you declutter you know, all those distractions or those fears, you know, that are blocking you from seeing what the next vision is. So, yes, I would say that whether you can see your next step or not, mm -hmm. you will need a life coach to help you unpack what it is that is stopping you from envisioning the future you desire. Interesting. I like that. So I believe uh, that has answered a couple of questions that uh, the, the people have been asking regarding how you can, you know, find out a life coach and what you need a life coach for. Now, this brings me mm. to, my, to my next mm -hmm. uh, uh, question. Uh, seeing the fact that for um, with, with, with the things you said, you would need a life coach to help you, you know, um, direct your, 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 your move or to wherever you're going. Is it necessary that a life coach needs to have um, experiences in that field? Now, the reason why I ask that is this. Um, some people would say, uh, if, if you have a life coach yourself, which means I can come to you if I have relationship issues, I can come to you if I have financial issues, I can come to you if I want to talk about my, the, the, the next step of my career, and you can have something to always tell me and to put me in the right direction. But there's always a, also a conversation that, if I want relationship advice, then I must look for a coach whose relationship is successful to get relationship advice. Or if I want business advice, I should look for a coach who has a, a huge business working for him. Then I can say, okay, he's telling me out of his experience. So what exactly is the case? Is that always a case or it's, it's, it's a, a whole different thing entirely? For you are the expert, let us know. So it's totally different. You do not need an experience in an area mm. before you can coach, right? Um, and this is where there's a difference between mentoring and coaching. Okay. If you need a mentor, a relationship mentor, just for the sake of our, you know, example, yes. right? You will need someone who will, um, who should have experience in relationship you know, to give you advice mm -hmm. from their own experience. Now, what differentiates a life coach from a mentor is that a coach does not give you advice. That's not the work of a coach. Mm. A coach uses insightful questions to help you unlock the answers that already exist in you. I don't know if you get what I mean. Yes, so I totally a coach uses questioning a coach uses questioning to help you discover, have light bulb moments or an epiphany mm -hmm. that will help you find the answers that you see. While a mentor on the other side, on the other hand, mm -hmm. uses their own experience to provide guidance and instructions and templates, as it were, to help you get the answers. So in the mentoring relationship, there is a lot of telling involved. So I'm telling you what to do based on my experience. Yeah. This is what I would advise that you do. Yeah. But a coach is asking you, you feel stuck in this way. How did you get here? Mm -hmm. How did you make that decision to date this person? What did you see mm -hmm. that made you say yes? And what are you seeing now that is posing a threat, you know, to that relationship? What, what are the options? What, 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 is, what are the options available to you? And, and coaching is, is a bit more empowering than mentoring because mm. it helps the coachee on their journey. It, you know, you, you minimize the risk of... The reason why it turned out this way was because I did what you asked me yes. to do. But in a coaching relationship, it's about you finding the answer. It's about you telling us why you think the relationship will not work. Hmm. And then asking you, how did you get to that place? 
What can you do differently? And you begin to find those answers, and it makes people more responsible. Yeah. So if you look at the football profession, where they have established the, the, philo or the, the, the concept of coaching, you will see that not all coaches are footballers or ex-footballers. True. But that you are a footballer does not mean you cannot coach. Of course you can coach. Yeah. But not all coaches were footballers. So you don't need experience to become a coach. Hmm. You know, this, this, this part of this conversation has been very insightful because <laughs> in Nigeria, we always mistake these two uh, aspects. It'd be like, oh, a coach is a mentor, a mentor is a coach. Some mm. people even say, I'm a mm -hmm. mentor and a coach. I'm a coach mentor. It, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, for us to take in. And seeing right. that you've clearly differentiated what the role of a coach is and the role of a right. mentor is. So it's, 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 it's mm -hmm. very, very good that we've been able to establish that now seeing that we're talking about being a, a life coach right. as, as it is um, for someone who probably uh, is also wanting to be a life coach does a life coach need a life coach is, is that is that in any case possible absolutely mm. absolutely <laughs> wow that's like a doctor will need a doctor right yes yeah like a doctor will need a doctor at different stages in my life when I get stuck I engage the services of coaches, right? Mm. I pay people to coach me, to help me unlock that next layer, right? Because, you know, a, a coach is like a tour guide. You know, you want to go to a place you've never been before. Yeah. You can go there all by yourself, but you may not maximize the opportunities that exist within that location. Mm -hmm. But a tour guide is probably able to give you, you know, ideas based on what you seek, mm -hmm. you know, to derive from that place and provide, you know, that kind of guidance or support. So for me, yeah, and any other coach out there, we often say, you know, there's a mentor of mine who says that a coach without a coach is a cockroach. You're eventually going to become a pest and frustrated in your own journey. Mm -hmm. So you need a coach to be able to effectively maximize your role even as a life coach. Interesting. Now, the good thing is that uh, we know that uh, a lot of people uh, would are very skeptical of sharing their 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 issues with other people in this part of the world. We see it as a show of weakness. If I'm talking to you about how I'm struggling, mm -hmm. then you look at me in a certain way and things like that. But being a life coach, I'm sure you've experienced a lot of conversations. You've you've spoken to different people so far. What has been your most common kind of situation in coaching that you've, you know, you've spoken to a lot of people about? What has been that common scenario so far with uh, the Nigerian people you've actually coached? So I, I would say that a lot of people are struggling with clarity, hmm. clarity of purpose. Okay. A lot of people exist but are not really living. You know, you wake up every day, you don't even know why you're alive. You go through the motions of waking up, you know, getting ready for work, whether it's an, a career or a business. Mm -hmm. You go there, you come back, set your accounts where every day or at the end of the month. But you lie down in bed at night, you're wondering whether your life even has meaning or not. Mm. That is the challenge a lot of people have. People being on jobs, getting promoted, and seeming to have a successful life, but feeling frustrated deep down, not really knowing what their life is about. Yeah. That is a real issue that a lot of people are facing, mm -hmm. right? And um, it's a source of depression. It's a source, because especially when COVID happened, yeah. and businesses got threatened, careers got threatened, Yes people had to go deep inside and begin to ask themselves, so what exactly am I about? What exactly is my life about? And you see that a lot of people, you know, I mean, of course, everyone was impacted one way or the other, Definitely. but the severity of it vary from individual to individual. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the core of our existence was shaken in the past, you know, few months. Yeah. So lack of clarity, lack of, you know, not knowing what to do. In fact, some people, I, 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 have, I have an uncle who always says that, you know what, you know, when entrepreneurs say that, um, you know, lack of funding is the major challenge, you know, mm -hmm. he says it's, it's too many ideas without a blueprint, an execution blueprint that is the major 
source of frustration for most people. And that's the truth because you have an idea of what you want for some people but you know how to go there. The you don't know how to plan. overcome the obstacles in mm -hmm. front of you to get to where you want to get to. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's not a good place to be. And that's a major challenge I see, you know, a lot around here. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's quite interesting. But so far, I'm sure you must have had good uh, testimonies and people have been coming out to tell you how far they've been able to unlock that uh, next level from the coaching they've, they've had. Mm -hmm. So so far, like, uh, how, how, how many testimonies do you get every time? And with the amount of testimonies <laughs> you, you, you are getting, are you saying that, okay, it is actually being uh, accepted in this society to always seek for a life coach when you are stuck at a particular point in your life? I, I would say yes. Um, the opportunities are opening up. Um, mm. A lot of people are beginning to embrace, you know, the concept of having to speak to someone, mm -hmm. you know, when they don't have clarity. And the, the testimonials are there. Now, let me tell you, you the testimonials we experience is directly uh, proportional to the level of work the coachee is willing to do. You know, oftentimes I tell people, I can't coach you out of ignorance, okay? Mm -hmm. The more you're willing to open up, the more you're willing to do the work, yeah. the greater the impact. I mean, I had a coaching session with a client, um, you know, sometime this week. And, you know, at the end of the session, he said to me, said, Jupe, I just want to say thank you. You know, we, we are not even on the entire journey. Mm -hmm. But he said to me, the fact that, you know, I have someone to speak to, the fact that I have someone to bounce my idea, someone to help me refine my thinking, mm -hmm. you know, goes a long way in giving me the sense of, you know, confidence I require to face, you know, those challenges or those um, goals or milestones that mm -hmm. I've set for myself. You know, I, I mean, I, I get to speak with people from different parts of the world and you know, each time we have like a clarity session and all that, sometimes they come back and they, they are like, you know, what I thought was the problem was not even the problem. Mm -hmm. Because one of the, the challenges of finding solutions to problems is when the problem is even defined wrongly. Yeah. Because when you have the wrong diagnosis, you're going to have the wrong treatment. Yeah. So being able to, you know, let me give you an instance, right? I, okay. I remember a young lady reached out to me and said, you know, I, I want to advance my studies. I want to go to the UK. And I've seen someone who is willing to pay my school fees, mm -hmm. right? But then um, I'm unable to raise the funds that I need for my visa application. And, you know, the initial reaction we can have as individuals, as mentors is, okay, is this person trying to, do you want me to, like, give you the money? Or yeah. what exactly am I supposed yeah. to do with that, you know? But, of course, I put on my hat as a coach, and I'm like, Okay, so tell me exactly, what is the specific challenge here? And she goes, I need five, about five million naira to put in an account. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, so tell me, what are the different ways you can get this money? Oh, family and friends. Okay, tell me about that. Have you explored that? Mm -hmm. I'm not quite, my family, my friends may not be able to. To raise that kind of money. So how many friends to give you five million naira? Mm -hmm. What is the earning capacity of your friends that can give you that? And she looked at her network. And she's like, I'm not sure anybody can give me that amount right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What other options do you have? She said, I've considered taking a loan, but the interest rate is crazy. Mm -hmm. So I said, what, what makes the interest rate crazy? She told me what the interest rate was. Yeah. So I said, okay, you need 5 million naira. And say the interest rate comes to 10% um, or 20%, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so for 20%, it means you need 1 million naira. So tell me, which is more, which is more difficult to find, five million naira or one oh, million, one million naira? naira? Hmm. And then she goes, "Oh my goodness, it's easier than I thought." Hmm. So all that was stopping her from taking a step towards fulfilling her academic goal was one million naira, the interest rate. Yes. So she was able to see that my problem is not five million. My problem is actually one million. One million and it, it's easier to conquer than five million. And she was like, oh my God. And it is those moments. I didn't have to tell her that, you know, go and borrow money. No, everything came from her. From her but conversation. It took yeah. me using insightful questions mm -hmm. to help her unlock her thinking. And that is the main challenge. A lot of people have challenge with thinking. Hmm. You know, someone said thinking is such a hard work. Many people are not willing to do it. 
And the few people that think they are thinking are actually worrying. And so that is where you need someone who is independent to help you clarify your mm. thoughts in a way that brings you the desired roadmap that will take you to your destination. I like that. There's a line you just dropped now that really hit me. You said a lot of people who are thinking are actually worrying. And uh, that, that is really not a good place to be mentally because you will not be productive mm -mm. when you worry Absolutely. so much. Interesting. Quite mm -hmm. interesting. So for someone, uh, I, would, I would just also like to ask, have you been uh, in any situation where you had a conversation with, uh, with someone you're coaching and you became very emotional about the conversation and maybe you got stuck on what to say or how to lead the person out of that situation? Has that ever happened to you? And how did you go about it? Oh, yes. It? I still had a conversation yesterday. <laughs> mm -hmm. These things happen. Because the issues that people, you know, are combating every day yes. are actually, they run deep. Someone can have um, an, an, a challenge in career mm -hmm. and it's impacting on the family. It's impacting on you know, their social life and different dimensions. I yes. mean, I was on a call with someone recently and, you know, you know, because of the social distancing, we're yeah. not doing a lot of yeah. um, physical coaching over, and over all internet, that. So, yes. you know, we were on the call and the person was, was in tears. I had to let the person let it out. Hmm. I had to say, okay, you know what? Is it okay for us? Would you like to continue or would you like us to have this conversation later? Later, yeah. You know, and it's okay because sometimes, you know, these things can become overwhelming, even for them. And like I told you, you can only coach people to the degree that they are able to converse or share with you. Mm -hmm. So if they get to that place where they are stuck and they are not able to share so much, it impacts on how the conversation will go. So sometimes it's good to have a break. I mean, hmm. in this COVID, I, I remember a coaching relation with a client of mine in the UK, and just after the second session we had, she 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 lost her job. Oh, wow. Right now, the, the 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 trail of the conversation up until that point, we had to take a break. You know, I needed to give her some time mm -hmm. to adjust to the new reality, and mm -hmm. it may possibly mean a redefinition. Of purpose, of purpose of the conversation yes. of the engagement i yeah. don't know if you get what i'm trying yes. to say yes totally. so as a coach you know because the answers don't lie with you it's it's not in the case of mentoring mm -hmm. of course there are, there are times where you know based on the relationship you have with some people you may double as a coach and a mentor, and a mentor but yeah. on like a mentoring relationship i'm not the one trying to give you an advice so the, the i can't so much say that you get stuck as a coach Okay. Because the answer is not on me. It's the answer you're looking what for you is say. in you. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm helping you find it. So if for any reason we get stuck, hmm. probably it's because that person is still trying to refine their thinking, which is okay, yeah. and you can give some time for that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this has been one amazing session. I would say I would like to appreciate you for coming on the show to have these conversations. And for Thank people you. who are watching, I'm sure they've gotten clarity on who a coach is and who a mentor is and the responsibilities that lie uh, on, on these two d d d different professions. And Absolutely. thank you very much for your time. We appreciate this. Uh, we'll you. definitely have you some other time again to probably come and talk more about some other issues, but it was very, very insightful. And uh, we, we, we thank just say you thank so you much and for hope you have me. an amazing day. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.